Hey guys, welcome back to the business of art. Today I want to talk to you about selling more art at art fairs and just kind of my successful actions in the past. So step one, make sure you're at the right kind of fair. Not all art fairs will fit your type of art. So I recommend if you can, at a time, researching the other vendors. If your pieces sell for an average of $50 to $100 and the other vendors there sell for an average of $1 to $2,000, you might not be in the right place. Or if you're researching a fair and the average sale price there is $20 bucks and your pieces are $1,000, you're going to have a little bit of difficulty. I witnessed this actually just a few months ago. I was at a fair and uh, my pieces were priced, you know, in between $50 and maybe $300. And then another artist there was priced more like in the thousands. He didn't sell anything and I did not sell a lot that was, I, I only sold pieces in the lower range and then I sold some of my functional art pieces that were like $20 such as vases and stuff like that. So that was a really good example of the type of public that was right for that art fair. So that's the first thing. Make sure you're at the right fair. Not all of them are good. Even if they have tons of public attending, it may not be a right fit for you. Okay, number two is I highly recommend putting price tags on your work. Don't just hang it, but just like put price tags on your work. Um, this makes it more accessible. If I see a piece of art hanging and it has no price tag on it, Nine times out of 10, I'm not gonna say how much is this. I'm gonna just be like, oh, that's nice. It's probably too much and keep on walking, right? And I know a lot of people do that as well. So I recommend putting price tags on them. Two is, or three, definitely have a visually appealing setup. It doesn't want, you don't want it to be too cluttered. You don't want it to also be too clean and empty either. So you need to kind of find that right mix and that will also go along with what kind of a market is it. Uh, it's more of the farmer's market, let's say. People are there to buy vegetables. They're there to buy organic lip balm. Um, so they're gonna be kind of usually the more homey, um, laid back kind of hipster, <laughs> right? Often, at least in Los Angeles, <laughs> you know, so it might depend on your city. So you can kind of fashion it around that, like having some cute lights up and, and you know, cute old fashioned paper kind of tags and stuff like that. Uh, you want it to be visually appealing. You want people to go, ooh, what's that? And walk over and look. Now here's another key thing is you have to be interesting. I don't mean you need to be standing, standing in front of your booth juggling or anything like that. But do not be sitting there on your cell phone just being like, oh, I hope someone comes and talks to me, you know, or don't be kind of like hiding in the back of your booth and hoping that people will just walk in and hand you money. You have to actually talk to people. So if you're a really introverted person, you're going to have to work on that or sell online. I don't know, but get out there and talk to people. If someone walks by your booth, without being rude or pushy or anything, being like, hey, you know, why don't you come in, come on in and take a look and let me know what you think. I would love to know what you think, you know, and really communicate, uh, find out what people are looking for, find out what people are interested in. This can also be a survey point, even if you don't sell anything, let's just say, it's at least a survey point for future fairs. Like at the one I was talking about, right, where the artist had pieces for thousands of dollars and I, I sold pieces that were on the lower end, I'm going to be doing another one of those markets coming up. And now I know exactly what to bring. And I know exactly the price range for that public. I, you know, so I learned a lot, even though I, my goal, honestly, for that fair was, I think, selling a thousand dollars or something like that. And I sold three to four hundred. So it wasn't bad, but I didn't do as good as I was going for. And it was a free fair, so that's at least good. I didn't have to pay an entry fee or anything. It was just at a local church. Um, but talk to people. People want, people aren't gonna walk up to you if you're sitting there on your cell phone. It's going to push people away. All right, and then um, lastly is don't be disappointed if you don't make the immediate sale. 
have business cards, have an email sign up list, have ways for people to get a hold of you because sometimes it's they do need to think on it or maybe they want to get a custom piece or maybe they need to go home and measure their wall or maybe they have to talk to their husband. Okay, don't just discount it if you don't get the immediate sale. Make sure you're giving out your contact information as much as possible. I would even recommend setting a goal, you know, 50 business cards passed out or whatever, depending on the, the type of fair. If there's 10,000 people there, you should definitely be passing out more than 50 business cards. Um, it's all a learning experience, but those are the tips that I've found that have helped me sell. I've never done an art fair and not sold something like not once. I think have I ever done an art fair, not sold something. Um, and that's what I do. I make sure I'm in the right place or at least don't have an expectation of selling if I didn't do my research Two, make sure my pieces are rightly priced and fit in with the fair. Um, three, have a nice display, a nice setup that's inviting and uh, put price tags on my work so that people know how much the pieces are. And then just be personable and communicate to people and then give them your contact information. All right. I know my numbers weren't necessarily in sequence. I don't really keep like a notepad as I do these videos, but I think you get the point. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you all next time.